I'm going to show you how to make the famous tuna tostada from Contramar, that incredible fish restaurant in Mexico City. And it starts with beautiful sashimi quality tuna. I'm going to be using here a yellowfin tuna because, well, there's some issues with using bluefin. It's been a little overfished. And I'm going to wrap it up again. And I'm going to put it into the freezer so that it can firm up for easy, thin slicing. That'll take maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Now to go underneath the thin slices of raw tuna, we're going to make a chipotle mayo. So we start with these canned chipotles in adobo. Open that can up and take a couple of them out and spoon them out of their little canning liquid. It's kind of a tomatoey broth that's both sweet and tangy. So we'll put a couple of those in there. And then I'm going to spoon out about three quarters of a cup of really good quality mayonnaise. And then that will scrape into the food processor here. Put the top on and pulse it until it's completely blended. I'm gonna leave that sit there while I prepare the marinade. And I'm gonna measure into this dish about a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. And then squeeze in two citrus juices. I just need a couple of tablespoons of lime and then a couple of tablespoons of orange juice. And the last element here before we slice that tuna is to make the leek. So I'm going to show you how to do a crispy dehydrated microwaved leek. Now, believe me, the microwave is really useful for certain things. So we've got a big leek here, and I'm gonna cut, actually cut through a couple of layers of the exterior because they're really just a little bit too tough for me to use here. Now I'm going to cut it right where the green begins, and then I'm gonna split this from top to bottom, like this. Now the light yellowish leek I'm actually going to pull out because that part of the leek will never crisp in the microwave. So I'm actually going to cut that part of it out. And it's really going to be this exterior here that's going to become my crispy leeks. So split it from top to bottom and then cut it across about a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. I have a piece of parchment paper here that I'm going to put them out on and then lay the other fold of the parchment paper on top. I have my microwave ready here and basically what I'm going to do is to dehydrate them until they're crisp. That'll take about 12 minutes and I'll lay them in there. I'm going to set the power level for 40% and the time for three minutes. After three minutes, I'm going to stir the leeks around and then return them to the microwave for another three minutes. Repeat this cycle two more times until the leeks are dry, browned, and a little crispy. It's about 12 minutes, I'll told. Now they are beautifully crispy like that and I think they're going to make the right textural element to put on top of these little tostadas here. Now it's time to go retrieve the beautiful tuna from the freezer. And we will thinly slice it here. Using a knife with a very sharp blade, thinly slice the tuna and then add those slices to the soy citrus marinade. The tuna needs to marinate for only a couple of minutes to firm up before you take it out and lay it onto paper towels. And now to do the building. 
I have four tostadas here that I'm going to spread with a little bit of this chipotle mayonnaise. Top each one with three pieces of tuna. Next, we're going to lay on a slice of avocado. And then top with a few of the crispy leeks. It's a beautiful, sophisticated, and ultimately delicious tostada of raw tuna with chipotle mayonnaise.